Hello, welcome to rm24.com YouTube channel. My name is Vadim. It is my brief introduction, as always. If you are new here, welcome, welcome. Today we are going to disassemble the smartphone Xiaomi Redmi Note 11. This assembly has two gears in our difficulty rating or medium and will be disassembled by detaching the back cover. It is glued with adhesive, so we have to use a heating mat or heat gun to soften the adhesive base. There is one thing I want to say about this model. The, the back cover has a hole because the cover of the cameras is made separately from the back cover. So the back cover glued not only around the edges but also around the cover of the cameras. By the way, the middle cover glued too. Anyway, we will show it in our video. And if you guys are ready, let's disassemble the smartphone Xiaomi Redmi Note 11. Okay, we have to open the back cover, but before we have to soften the adhesive base under the cover. We put the smartphone on a heating surface for uh, 3 or 5 minutes at temperature of 70 Celsius degree or 158 degree Fahrenheit and we can check how warm the smartphone is with uh, our fingers and maybe after 3 or 5 minutes we are ready to go. We take an opening tool, in our case it is a plastic film. We insert it between the back cover and the middle frame. We choose the far corner from the cameras. We spray some isopropyl alcohol and begin to slide the tool along the edge. Try not to push that tool too deep because we don't know what is under the cover. And we continue to slide the tool and try to open the back cover. Spray some isopropyl alcohol more. And we can try to bend the cover back slightly. As we already know, there is a hole in the cover and then inside the hole there is a camera cover for cameras and the back cover is glued around the camera's cover. So the cover, the back cover is so thin and and in the place where the camera score the back cover also narrow you need to be extremely careful there yeah we try to bend it yeah there is a narrow place and I guess the specialist uh, don't understand yet that the cover that the back cover and the camera score are two different parts and he tried to remove the adhesive base around the cameras camera score. Yeah he took the different plastic film and try to unstick the back core yeah the back core is too thin okay slide the opening tool more carefully and I guess we can try to open the back core Okay, we we'll remove the back cover. On the back cover, only gasket. 
presented. Okay. Now we unscrew our screws. We take a Phillips screwdriver 1.5 millimeters or hash 3 all and unscrew our screw. I see warranty sticker on the upper part on the one screw so I guess the smartphone has not been disassembled before us. Yeah, there is a screw. Uh, the screws are more likely all the same in both color and size. Okay. Anyway, try to put the all screws in the on some on some space on some clean space in right order try to not mix up sometimes uh, even one long or short, short screw may broken something when you screw it back in the wrong place and now we pray carefully over the edge and try to remove the camera score and yeah we We do it by force. I wouldn't recommend it. Do this. I guess there is a flash light. Okay, under the cover there is two screws. Unscrew them too. Honestly, it's not unclear to me whether it's uh, glued or fixed. I'm talking about that. Camera score. Okay, better to use a plastic or non metal tool. We disconnect the fingerprint sensor, cable connector, uh, which is located uh, on the side of the middle cover. Uh, we use a non metal or non metal or plastic tool because the motherboard is still powered. And we continue to unscrew the screws. The screwdrivers, the screwdriver the same, Philips 1.5 millimeters or H3O. We unscrew all screws at the lower part. These screws hold uh, the loudspeaker and the soundboard. Okay, the last one. Okay, now we need to pull out the card tray. We use an injection tool. We insert it into the hole and press it. And the mechanism push out the tray for two SIM cards and memory card. Now we can detach the middle cover. Insert the tool between the middle cover and the display model frame where the tray hole is and begin to slide our tool along the edge, detaching the clips. Yeah, be careful with the cameras. Oh, we have to turn off our smartphone. Okay, we are carefully moving the tool along the edges. Be careful at the corners. Okay, slide it. Carefully move our, our opponent tool. To. 
I guess now we have to bend the middle core to detach to detach it because it is glued at its base we have to be quite careful especially in the place where the side buttons are located and it's glued yeah careful side buttons fingerprint sensor Oh, it's glued tight. Okay, we remove it. On the core there are antenna traction pads. And there is a fingerprint sensor on the side. Okay. Now we disconnect the battery connector with a plastic or non-metal tool. Okay, we pry over the edge and remove the core with a loudspeaker. Put it aside. We disconnect the connector of interboard cable display model cable connector and the coaxial cable not that the coaxial cable is also attached to the subboard uh, and we are ready to remove the subboard we pry over the edge and remove this subboard maybe glue it the display model frame a bit on the display model frame we have a USB type C port for charging a data transfer microphone contacts for loudspeaker vibration motor and antennas okay let's move on to the motherboard we disconnect the connectors of coaxial cable and interboard cable Okay, now we have to remove the canners. We pry up the connectors, the big one, remove it. I see that some rare cameras look identical, so try not to mix them up. If you did it, maybe nothing will happen or you may you have to reassemble the smartphone yeah cameras look identical now disconnect the connector and remove the front camera on the camera, the sticky film is most likely the part of passive head sync system. And now we need to find fasteners holding the printed circuit board. We have to carefully detach them. And after we can remove the printed circuit board or motherboard. Okay, we, we check it. Be careful of the place where the side boots, buttons located, there is a cable. And carefully pry over the edge. Yeah, and we can remove the motherboard. I think the thermal pest may hold the motherboard from the inside. Yeah. 
I see the thermal test. Okay, in the display model frame we have a vibration motor, European speaker, battery, side buttons, coaxial cable, and I guess now we're done. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Okay guys, now we're done, thank you for watching, if you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, check our website, the text picture version of this video already published on our website, please take care of yourself and until next video.